Welcome back to Rumpers and Blush. Today is going to be kind of like a combination video. I'm going to do a get ready with me. And I'm going to review the Neo New um, Blushes by Armani. So if you want to see how I got this look, make sure you stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome back to Rompers and Blush. Um, today we're going to be diving into these new blushes by Giorgio Armani. And I have three shades here to go over with you guys. I was waiting. I had these two. The, um, what is this? Neo New Melting Color Balm. Cheeks and Eyes. And this is the color. Uh, why they don't have the shade right there? It's number 50. And I think it's the brown. I think that's the name of it. Um, warm brown. No, this is not the warm brown. This is the mauve shade. I have this one. And I'm going to hold it back so y'all can kind of see it a little better. I have... This is the warm brown. And I had both of these. I got both of these, um, I want to say like a week and a half ago. Oh, yeah, I got to turn the air conditioner up. So I'm getting hey, y'all, I'm bad. Yeah, y'all know I'm in hot land. I get hot quick. And I'm sitting in front of this window and the sun is kind of shining on me. But, um, yeah, so I got the mauve and the warm brown, which is number 21 is the warm brown. And... Let's see number 50 is that mauve shade and so i was waiting on the shade that i wanted more than anything um more than any of them was this one and it was sold out so i just got this one like the other day so i was like okay now i can do my blush video so i'm gonna what i'm going to do i'm just gonna make this kind of like a get ready with me but first i'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys before i even start and i'm gonna swatch the warm brown first and i'm just gonna swatch it here on my hand so y'all can see it really good that's that number um 21 now this mob i was kind of like on the fence about it but i figured that it probably will look really pretty um you know in the fall so plus i just got that new i like the miss mixed cream blushes blushes and um powder blushes so i just got that gratuitous by tom ford and it's about this same color but it's powder so i said well you know what i can wear that with that in the fall and that's gonna be so pretty and this is the last one that i got here let me wipe my hands off here the most prettiest one to me of all it's number 30 and it is really appropriate look at that Woo! that's that's that warm i think it's called coral something i'm gonna link all three of them in the description box so yeah i don't worry so anyway without further ado let's go ahead and start this get ready with me so y'all i'm going to go ahead and use what's the remote right here i'm gonna go ahead and use this in my get ready with me today because um that's the one that I want to wear. It goes with my dress and I just like that one. Oh, let me close this. First, what, the first thing I'm going to do, you guys, I've already did my skincare and everything. You know, got my face ready and everything. Makeup. And I use two primers. I use the Good Molecule sometimes. And sometimes I'll use this Tatcha. Tatcha, or however you pronounce it. And sometimes I just don't use nothing. Sometimes I just let my skincare be my primer. But today, since I'm feeling a little frisky, I'm gonna go ahead and use both of these. So what I'll usually do is I'll take this and I'll go like around the perimeter of my face. Got some of that in my hair again. And I'll just, you know, rub it in. And then I'll take the Tatcha and put it kind of like on my cheeks where I got a little texture at because this is the one that's gonna mattify. This is kind of like a, um, this kind of like a um, hydrating primer. And I think I put too much and I just use my finger for that too, you guys. And y'all know what I'm using today and I'm trying to figure out if I wanna mix them or if I just wanna use one. But I'm telling y'all right now, I am hooked on this Huda Beauty Faux Filter found, um, Faux Filter um, Foundation Sticks. I'm hooked on these. I have the shade Dolce. 
and then I have baklava and dolce de leche. So this one right here has more yellow in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this kind of like on the front part of my face. And then I'm going to use this one, the baklava, on the outer portion of my face because this one has the um hold on let me get this more at my face this is gonna work this one has more of a golden undertone to it and i'm gonna take my sponge and my sponge today my sponge is not wet sometimes i'll use a wet sponge and sometimes i don't like today i'm not because i just don't feel the need my skin is kind of like um real juicy like because i just moisturized it real good so and that's the thing i like about this like if you want to wet it you can't i mean you know wet your um sponge a little bit damp it can but if you don't want to you really don't have to because like i said um this stuff right here is just going to work it always worked for me. I have never, I never have a problem with it looking gray or looking crazy or anything. You know, it just always does the job. And I love it. See? Just flawless. So I'm going to put a little bit more of the, um, no, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of the, um, Concealer. This is the NARS Concealer in the shade Caramel. I'm going to take a little bit of it and I'm going to put right here because I got a little, um, you know, I'm a little darker right here. And you know how, how us women of color sometimes have a little bit of dark spots here and there. Our melanin, which does not bother me at all. But I just want my, um, since I'm doing this video for y'all, I want my base to be. You know, look a little as flawless as I possibly can get it. And yeah, I'm doing this little get ready with me today, y'all. Like I'm going somewhere. I'm not really going anywhere. You know, with this, um, with everything that's going on, y'all know what's going on. And it's just getting bad out here. So I'm not going anywhere. I'll probably just go to my mom's house for a little while. Because I didn't get a chance to go see her last week. I try to go see my mom at least once a week. And um, if, you, if your mom is still living and she lives near you or she's close enough for you to go see frequently, go see your mom and just check on her. You know, if you can, not if you've been around a lot of people, though, with this, what's going on. Don't, don't do that if you've been around a lot of people. But if you have been following the proper precautions like you're supposed to, I always do this when I have on a little foundation just to kind of press this into my skin. Because, you know, I'm big on skin. I like for my skin to look nice. Okay, so let's see. What's next? What's next? Let's do the brows next, okay? Now, y'all know I'm not, I don't do a whole lot to my brows. Because my brows are kind of like naturally thick. I've been wanting to try that, um, what is it called? The salt brow thing? I've been wanting to try that, but I got to get the, the, um, the uh, what is it called? Whatever it is. That you use to make them lay down like that. I think Patrick Ta has one. And so my brows are kind of dark. So I don't like to put a lot of um, anything on them because I don't like I don't like them to look real dark. I just like them to look, you know, just a little natural. Not really, not, you know, they don't have to just be 100% natural, but I like them to look. I'm sorry, I know y'all can't see me. I just like them to look a little um, more natural. I don't want, I don't want them to be too Instagram-ish. <laughs> That's what people be saying, Instagram brown. Well. 
I'm not the best at browse, but I'll tell you what. And that just goes to show you that anything that you, you know, are consistent at doing, you just got to improve. You won't get better. Because I tell you, I'm going to flip that with some concealer, y'all. I know that looks crazy, but for time's sake, I'm going to just use concealer to get that looking the way that I want it. And I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan. And you know what? You can use this for your, um, you can actually use this for foundation too. I got two of them. This is the shade um, SX9 and I have SX11 too. But um, I don't use this one that much. So I said I'm just going to go ahead and use this to um, just define my brows a little bit. Because this one, to me, the 9, it has a lot more peach in it. And the 11 has a lot more golden in it. So, the 11, I can use that more so for a concealer than this one. Because you see how light this one is? You know, it'll work like for, um, and I can make it work if I want to kind of like do a, a bright under eye or something. I can use it. But I don't really want to do a bright under eye today. So I'm just going to use it for this. Because I was going to sell it on Macari. Matter of fact, I think it is on Macari. I need to take it off because I'm going in and keep it. But um, I was like, no, I don't need to sell this because it's so pretty. And I can make use of it. I don't like to sell my stuff, y'all. I like to keep my stuff. The only way I sell my stuff is if I really don't use it. I got a few things that I need to go ahead and put on there, though, because they just kind of like to look. What happens is, I be done caught a sale, and you know, and and sometimes with these sales, they'll fool you. They'll make you think that, oh, you know, it's a, you know, this is, you know, just a bomb product, and then you get it, and it's like, oh, okay, I see why y'all put this in here. I've been tricked like that before. <laughs> Pretty sure we all have, but it's all good though, because I already know that if I want to, I can easily just put it on eBay. On my car and be through. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush right here. This is an Omnia BMX 265. It's just a little synthetic brush, but it's okay. Like for stuff like this, you know, to blend out your um your concealer or just a little detail work you need to do. That's what I use this for. It's also good, like, if you want to use it for, um, for highlighter. All right. So, let's see how quick that was. I don't play. I don't have time to be doing a whole lot with these eyebrows. As long as they look decent, you know, that's all I care about. Okay, so next, y'all, I'm going to just do a little bit of a um, contour in my brows. I'm not going to do a lot. I mean, not my brows. For eyeshadow. I'm not going to do a lot for eyeshadow today because, um, you know, we're not, the, the eyeshadow is not the big deal today. The big deal is the blush, the cream blush, the Julia your Armani cream blushes. I'm just cleaning out this brush. This is my, I love this brush. This is a ripper. 16 and it's very good for um what i'm getting ready to do kind of like just you know just a little bit of contour in your um for your lids and you can also just use bronzer to do it you don't have to i just like this it's a very nice color um, for summertime, and I don't uh, do a lot. I find that in the summertime, I really don't use too much eyeshadow, and I like to take my eyeshadow up here, especially when I'm like doing this little contour thing. Mm 
And you can kind of bring it down like a little bit right there. You know, I'm not contouring my nose or anything, but I'm just kind of, you know, just contouring right in here. And now I'm just going to blend a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to um now what I'm gonna do, y'all. Top stack on this stuff. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of liner. As you know, we can't go without the liner. This is the Pat McGrath liner in the shade. Um, it's very small. I hope it, I hope the shade is still on it. The shade um, Extreme Black. This is the best eyeliner I have ever had in my life, y'all. I was thinking about getting that Raven, that shade Raven from um, Chanticleer. Y'all know they are having a thirty percent off sale, and I think today is the last day. And if I upload, I'm going to try to upload this video and have it going for y'all today. But if it's after the day, the sales are probably going to be gone. But you know what? They extend these sales all the time. So I can't even say, you know, that the sale is going to be gone. Because you just don't never know. It might not be gone. All right. So let's move this out of the way because we're finished with that. Oh, I also want to take a little bit of this um, Burnish Tiny. I pet my grand, and I want to put a little bit under my eye. Y'all know I love a blown out under eye, baby. Yes, I love that. I'm just gonna put a little bit on here, you know, just a little bit. Just a little something on the back of them. Mm -hmm. It makes a difference. It makes a big difference. I'm going to take my brush and kind of just blow it out a little bit. All right, now I'm going to take my bronzer, which I love this bronzer, y'all. This is the bronze goddess in the shade 04D. Now, I was going to do a bronzer video this week. And if you follow me on Instagram, um, that's what I was talking about. You know, I was kind of previewing what videos I was going to do. And I said I was going to do a bronzer video. However, there's another bronzer that I wanted to try. And that I ordered. And so I didn't want to do the bronze video without that one. So that one will be next week sometime. That's why I said, let me go ahead and do these blushes. So, um, yeah. But this is, a, I, I love this. And so what I do, I take this brush here. This is a um, Refer 25. And I take it. And I just swirl it right in here. Do the same thing to the other side.
Hold on one second, you guys. Y'all didn't miss much. All I did was just go in and I, I went ahead and did this side right here with the blush. So what y'all think? I really like this blush. I really am digging these blushes by Armani. Um, they're called the Neo Nude Melting Color Balm Cheeks and Eyes. And this is, again, it's the shade number um, 30 that I have on here. So I think it's a very nice product. I'm going to see how it wears the rest of the day. But <laughs> the net, I don't really have nothing bad to say about it, you know. So what we're going to do now, you guys, is I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes and everything always y'all when y'all wear y'all lashes and i and this is i need to start doing this more too make sure you clean your lashes and stuff off before you put them on and the way that i do mine i just take my lashes and um you know just get the glue off with my fingers like sometimes you can use tweezers but you have to be careful with the tweezers because the tweezers will rip and stuff and i'm going to just clean up Right up in here. And if you want to clean up your blush, you could just go around with the same brush that you use for your um for your concealer. That's it. Okay. Yep, but I don't have too much going on, y'all, today. I'm so glad I'm off. I don't even care. I mean, like, woo. So I've been working like a Hebrew slave, y'all. I've been working all the time on Saturdays and stuff. And so I didn't have to work this Saturday. So I was like, let me go ahead and film today. And then that way, tomorrow, which is Sunday, I won't have to uh, film. But I'm still going to film tomorrow, though, because you know what? I have a review. Um, I want to review this hair that I got. It's by Yummy. I don't know if y'all heard of Yummy Hair Extensions. Um, their hair is supposed to be really top-notch, their hair. So, I'm going to film that video tomorrow. I'm just going to do like an unboxing. Yeah, y'all come back and, and watch it. It's going to be very informative, especially if you love um, wigs and hair extensions and stuff like me. You know, I think it's a lot of people that um, have reviewed it online, but the ones that I have seen were not that uh, thorough. And I'm going to make a wig with it, but I don't know if the wig, if I'll have made the wig by tomorrow. But if not, I'll just show y'all, you know, the hair. And I got these lashes right here from the beauty supply store, y'all. I, I don't have the case. All I have is this right here. So, just in case y'all was wondering, I'm not trying to not tell y'all. But a lot of times when I buy eyelashes, um, they just be from the beauty supply store. Because I don't buy lashes from, like, um, lash boutiques no more. Because it's just not, I'm just not going to do it. And I know I can get something similar. Well, basically almost the same thing. I used to sell lashes too. You remember my, uh, I have a lash um, Instagram page. As a matter of fact, it's called Lashcapades. And I, I, I may start back selling them, but when I do, I will let y'all know first. Okay. Let's put my other one on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but y'all be safe when y'all go out today because, I mean, it's so many people, like, within the past week, I believe it's been, like, four or five people who have said that they have that, um, have encountered the you-know-what. And I can't say it, but y'all know what's going on, okay? What, what's going on now, they have, you know, they, they've caught it. And so, you just got to be careful out here. Wear your mask, wear your mask, wear your mask. 
wear your mask, period. I don't care what, I don't care if you've already been vaccinated or not. Just wear your mask. Better safe than sorry. Okay. Because you might, you might be okay, but then again, someone else could see you on the mask and not be okay. Just come down with that. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to get flash the curve right. That's one thing I, I hate about lashes, like when you put the glue on them, you take them, take the glue so long to dry. I'm impatient. <laughs> I'm impatient with these lashes. But if you if you are patient though, they do go on easier. See, I've been wearing lashes so long, I could just use my finger, but you can use the tweezers and you probably uh you know can get them to go on a little bit easier for you. And also make sure when you get finished wearing your lashes, make sure that you put it back in the case and shape it to the case. And that way, you don't have to worry about them just, you know, being all out of shape and being hard to put on. Okay, okay. Now, where is my okay? Now let's go ahead. I'm gonna just lick my lips and I'm gonna put my lip gloss on. Just dry my lips off, y'all. Slide the lips with my chestnut brown MAC lip pencil. This is my favorite lip pencil, y'all. This and that, um, what is it? Cork by MAC and Night Moth. And you see me, I'm going to have one of those three on. Unless I got on some red lipstick, then it's going to be Cherry by MAC. Mm. all right now let's put our lip gloss on this is my favorite lip gloss i need to get about three or four of these like because this right here this is the flesh six by pat mcgrath and this right here yeah. lord I love it. I absolutely and utterly love it. This is my favorite. Okay, let me put on a little bit of mascara. And this ain't nothing right here. This is just, just some cheap um, mascara that I get from the um, drugstore. And I think it's, uh, who is this? Covergirl Lash Blast Volume Hydra Finish. That's what this is. And because I said I was gonna stop spending all my money on that mascara because I don't my bottom, I only use mascara for my bottom lashes. And my bottom lashes are not that long. So I just need just a little something just to um you know mascara make a difference to me. I like the way 
mascara make your under eye, I mean, your um, your bottom lashes look, you know, kind of like doll like. So I do like it, but I don't, my eyelashes are not long enough to just spend a lot of money on it. And however, I would like to have a mascara that has a smaller wand. So at any rate, you guys. We are done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me as much as I did. Um, I hope you guys, uh, you know, were informed about the blushes and everything. And um, yeah, I hope you guys had a good time with me this Saturday. And, um, you know, y'all make sure y'all enjoy y'all day. Make sure y'all are being safe and being responsible. And come back and see me tomorrow. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, also, don't forget to take care of you, you guys. I love y'all so much for watching. And thank you so much. And I'm getting ready to get out of here. And enjoy my Saturday. So I'll talk with you guys tomorrow. Okay? Okay. All right. Bye-bye.